our campus was designed to support the learning communities approach and we find it perfectly complements our emergent curriculum which is always evolving according to the interests and ideas of the children. When the flexible learning spaces facilitates well for the various needs of learning and teaching. Parents often ask about the curriculum that we deliver and in fact the curriculum is exactly the same. There are no changes to curriculum standards. It's how we deliver the curriculum that's a little bit different. We can have independent work, we can have small group work. Some kids really like to talk things out when they're learning so they can be in a more collaborative environment but other students really need to have quiet. 学生之间由于个性气质、学习能力、天性禀赋的差异，他们之间有巨大的差异。这些差异可以构成课堂的素材资源，比如说学生在个性化的展展示和汇报的时候，这些千差万别的展示就构成了学生之间相互学习的难得
It's not one teacher to 25 students. It is about multiple teachers being able to work with students and observe and record their learning and help form the new challenges that that student needs to enjoy further success and understanding. The ability for a child to really choose their own way of presenting what they have learned or producing something that has a real world impact shows them the reason why they're learning. They really accept the assessment process now and it really helps them for future learning. It helps, uh, helps me as a teacher very clearly see what they've learnt and what they need to learn next time as well moving forward. When we had uh, parents coming in, we were very excited to, to show them our new learning spaces. And a lot of the parents were really um, commenting that it's what their modern workplaces are looking like. And a few parents even mentioned that they were taking photos and wanting to create their workspace to look more like this. For a lot of parents, uh, this model is pretty new. Uh, and this way of learning, they, they, see, they start maybe seeing uh, at college. Um, so working in small groups, uh, bigger groups, it's pretty new for primary students. My generations, we learn 70-80% of our knowledge when we left high school because we learn from books. Nowadays, I think our children learn only 30% of their knowledge from school, but they learn 70% of their learning is to use their skill, how to analyze their skill, how to make the right choice. 而现在这种开放式的教学，我觉得它是以孩子为中心，老师起了领导啊、呃、引导和督促孩子，去激发孩子的积极性和引导他们的思维。其实我都几满意嘅，因为呢个地方俾我哋一个好开放同埋好可以轻松讨论嘅一个咁嘅环境咯。Really enjoying teaching in the learning community. You see students in a completely different light. You're able to see them uh, in different areas, embracing the learning, communicating, collaborating with the students, feeling more confident about their learning, not being confined to a certain space. It doesn't look like traditional classrooms and looks like uh, teachers and students are very well communicated to each other and you guys are having good time. So some of my favorite things about the learning community at YCIS is that we get to uh, know our friends a lot better every day because we go to classes with them, we see them um, all the time. And also I really like um, getting to study with them and just knowing them uh, better in general. Um, the setup really does replicate the type of environment students would go on to when they attend university um, or college. And we find this is a really motivating factor for the students, they really see there's a light at the end of the tunnel. The learning community has a very open layout, which is very similar to a university setting. So I feel as though the learning community really helps prepare students for the next step in life. 經歷過咧呢十幾年嘅喺耀中裏邊嘅學習啦，咁我係有信心咧，佢哋係繼續去秉承到耀中嘅理念，就係現在或者將來咧係繼續咧係能夠做到二十一世紀嘅世界公民。